We make this commitment to all Australians that we will be there for you during this immediate response and we will be there for the rebuilding and the recovery. As bushfires continue to ravage Australia, the country's Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, announcing an extra $2 billion over the next two years to help cover the cost of rebuilding. Morrison has faced harsh criticism for a slow reaction to the deadly crisis, slam for taking a vacation in Hawaii last month as the disaster worsened. This is not fair. We have totally forgotten about down here. Every single time this area has a flood or a fire, we get nothing. And he's accused of inaction on climate change. Now he's promising to do whatever it takes to recover from the fires, which are likely to burn for weeks or months to come. What we are focusing on here is the human cost and uh, the rebuilding cost for people's lives. Some relief Monday with light rain and cool winds. Officials warned, though, dangerous weather is expected to return this week. Fires have charred more than 8 million hectares. That's nearly 20 million acres across Australia, leaving more than two dozen people dead and thousands of homes and buildings destroyed. Everything's just gone. We've got nothing. Memories. And I just want to go home. I can't. Wildlife, of course, also suffering. Some estimating the number of animals killed as high as half a billion. We have a community spirit here on Kangaroo Island that is not burnable. It hurts. It hurts to see this. And I don't want anyone to go through this again. And an early morning update local time from officials down under saying as of 4 a.m., there were 130 fires still burning across New South Wales. Here's a map of those hot spots. And officials say even with the current conditions, including rain in some locations, there are still around 2,000 firefighters working to protect properties and contain fires. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.